So people, I'm certainly hoping that you've all drunk lots of this wine, um, or at least one bottle a year, um, because it really is has become an iconic South African Syrah, and it's also the Malinu's iconic Syrah. Of course, they've got the uh, terroir range, where they, which is based on all the different soil types, but in order to fully reflect this wine, often they don't bottle some of the different soil types, particularly iron, because that vin vineyard is very low yielding, because they need the iron in here. They want to reflect all their vineyards in this bottle that we have here. It's the Swatland Syrah 2020, and it's 13% alcohol, and uh, because we know it's the Malinu, we also know it's going to be very, very dry. That is their styling. So let's go for it. We've got to start with the colour, of course. So pretty youthful for a red wine. But if you look at the density and colour tone of that, it's not your... Um, Bordeaux grapes, which would be blacker. Um, this is definitely a lovely Syrah colour and a Syrah from the Swatland. The nose gives it away immediately. It's definitely got black pepper. Now, not all of you can taste rotundin, or s sorry, smell rotundin. It's just one of those things. Um, luckily, I can. They're not with 100% infallibility but that's so be it everybody tastes like that we have good days and bad days so anyway back to the start again this is pepper this fein boss there's a beautiful syrah combination of red fruit and subtle underlying cassis Just had to take a moment there because I was enjoying the fragrance so much. Beautifully dry. Just dry. 1.8 grams per litre sugar, as I said. Not a blockbuster. Certainly not a blockbuster. Moderate alcohol at 13.5%. Um, Beautifully integrated oak. Um, acid just in balance. So, colour, black pepper in combination with that fain bossy herby um, fragrance and red fruits. Bone dry but still absolutely sense of fruit, not fruitiness and not fruitful, but just sense of fruit, that gives you Malinu Syrah, not even just Swatland Syrah. 